Hello YouTube, my name is Nicholas Montez and you're watching my YouTube channel, The Teenage Movie Critic and welcome back to another YouTube channel everybody, I'm so excited to have y'all back today again and in today's video we're doing another Celebration of Cinema review, it was supposed to be about two days ago, today we're reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog 2, now this is actually a movie I watched about a couple weeks ago, so not too recent, but um, I honestly... Everybody said that it was so good, and I watched this with the first Sonic the Hedgehog about two years ago to get ready for the second film, but I didn't go see it in theaters, unfortunately. And then I finally saw it back in March, and I just absolutely loved it. I just thought the way that they expanded the world and did more, introduced more characters, and just had more fun with everything, but tell a more compelling story. That's what was re really good about this film. So I had a lot of great time with this movie, but let's talk about the specific aspects I loved about this film. And what I absolutely loved about this film when it came to the story is it actually feels like the right next step to continue the story of Sonic the Hedgehog, where the first film was him getting sent to planet Earth, not really knowing what to do with his life. And if you really think about it, it's a road trip movie, when Sonic the Hedgehog is built to be the fastest man, the fastest hedgehog alive. And so we're using a car by two days with a man. While the adventure is fun, you actually look at the aspect of that story, it's not that great. Plus, we're dealing with this guy played by Jim Carrey that's that's involved with the government. And so it doesn't really feel like Sonic the Hedgehog movie. It feels more like this powerful hedgehog was something from another planet to fight this guy with some really cool tech. And so it's cool in that aspect, but it has that charm. This one deals with Sonic learning how to be a hero and learning what people he, he can grow up with. And since he's still a kid, what friends he'll grow up with. And you get all of that and learn how, and learn how to be such a great hero where he actually accesses a new power throughout the, uh, towards the end of the film. So, I really enjoyed that aspect, and uh, I just I, I also just loved that we got to we got we got a little bit more. Uh, it it actually felt like Sonic the Hedgehog, where it didn't feel like we're, we're, we're it's just another kids action movie where a kid a, a kid is running super fast and we're trying to run away from the government. This feels like Sonic the Hedgehog stuff mixed in with some of the human stuff. With that, said, let's move on to the other stuff about this film. And when it comes to the characters, this movie finds a way to handle the returning characters, but also finds a great way to introduce the new ones. Of course, the returning characters back, you got the two Sonic human characters from the first film coming back. And while they're not heavily involved in the film, I think their usage of it was just right enough. You also get Sonic the Hedgehog back, which of course I loved his arc, like I just said. I loved the arc that he goes through in the film learning what friends he's going to grow up with in the future, but also learning how to be a good hero that it's not about caring of who, who you are self, caring about yourself. It's about caring for others and protecting others. Uh, of course, Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik is as Eggman. Fantastic. And he might be better than, he might be better in this movie than he was in the first film. And he just has this great performance. He also looks the part, looks like the video game character, and just absolutely nails it. And the fact that this might be his last movie role ever is actually crazy. Um, but uh, I'm actually going to be watching Jim, some of Jim Carrey's films in a couple months. So just to let you guys know that. Um, another thing I loved about the uh, also with our new characters with Knuckles and uh, Tails. They are also great additions where you have Tails... This very, she feels like more like a video game character, which technically I think it fits that. But she's also just has this great personality to her. But then also with Knuckles played by um, Idris Elba, he has this intimidating side. But then when he gets fun and when he becomes good, he actually can be good and fun. And it just has this unique stuff to it. And Idris Elba plays it very well. So... Just the way they use the characters in this film were honestly just very, very good. And the 
final thing we'll talk about with this film is I liked that this movie felt more like a Sonic the Hedgehog film rather than just a, we're trying to stop this super powered hedgehog and we're gonna send in a guy from the government to stop him. But in some ways that makes it better for this film because it actually builds into the world of Sonic where we're kind of going, we're, we're obviously still on planet earth, but we're still having fun with these action set pieces where we're getting stuff from these other worlds and using it to fight Sonic, where we're getting other characters, we're getting more technology, we're learning about this this emerald, and we're learning more about the world around it. And maybe in the third film, film that we get this year, we might actually be spending time in the Sonic worlds. You know, all the worlds that we go through in these rings, we actually will probably go in them. And it will find a way to close out this trilogy. So. That's my thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog 2. What did you guys think of Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate right between? Uh, and did you guys see it when it first came out back in 2022? All that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.